All right, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called How to Sleep. It's a bonus features on the A Night at the Opera disc. There it is. Lots of stories behind this movie. I think I'm going to like this a lot better than the shorts. It's got the same guy who did... Uh, Home movies, this How to Sleep. Robert Benchley. He did a bunch of uh, MGM humorous shorts from around 35 to 40, I think. Something like that. At least the two that I've seen are from 35 to 40. It's part of their uh, miniature series. Um, it discusses four parts of sleep, causes, methods, avoiding sleep, and waking up. <clears throat> so he says the uh, the sleep sleep causes your brain to uh, release blood downward, but then uh, alcohol causes your brain to pop out of your, out of your head or something. That was the joke. I didn't find any of this funny, by the way. Um, then you see this guy. Uh, I think it's Benchley. He's uh, he's doing very every three minutes. He switches around positions in bed, and then they speed it up to make it look like a, an excruciating exercise or something. Then, uh, then it shows the various kinds of noises that can wake you up. And uh, then uh, I don't even remember the ending. I don't want to spoil it, but uh, I guess I could see on. Uh, I can look it up on. Uh, on Wikipedia, the production was inspired by a Mellon Institute study on sleep commissioned by the Simmons Mattress Company. Well, they even have the, the guy uh, counting sheep. But then he wakes up when one of the sheep doesn't make it over the gate and they all pile up on each other. It was filmed in two days, featured Benchley as both the narrator and sleeper. The latter role, Benchley claimed, was not much of a strain to edit as he was in bed most of the time. Uh, a still of the film was used was being used in Simmons mattress advertisements. The only group that not pleased was the Mellon Institute, who did not approve of the studio mocking their stu study. <laughs> Um, so the early success of How to Sleep prompted MGM to rush two more short films featuring Benchley, How to Train a, jo a Dog, a spoof of dog training techniques, and How to Behave, which lampooned etiquette norms. How to, sl How to Sleep was named Best short, short Subject at the 8th Academy Awards in 1935, while the latter shorts were not as well received. Uh, there was also a, uh, in addition to being a bonus feature on Night of the Opera Disc, it's also available on the DVD set, the Robert Benchley Miniatures Collection. I've seen, uh, I've seen two of his shorts so far, and I hated both of them. <laughs> I didn't think either one was funny. There's a night at the opera. Cool looking uh, Marx Brothers film. There's a story behind this film. Um, the Marx Brothers did a bunch of uh, pictures for Paramount. Their last one being Duck Soup, a movie that I love. It had me laughing from beginning to end. I love Duck Soup. <clears throat> 
uh, but it, it flopped at the box office. Uh, they thought their careers were over, but uh, Harpo, I think his name is, Harpo Marx was uh, playing bridge with one of the uh, executives at the rival studio. Uh, was it MGM? they were talking about on the bonus features MGM yeah and it was a huge hit it was selected for preservation in the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress as being culturally historically or aesthetically significant in 1993 uh, it was uh, listed as the top number 85 top movie of all time by AFI and uh, <laughs> they got they got sick and tired of waiting for the uh, MGM executive Zeppo left the act <laughs> so the uh, the three guys got naked and they started roasting uh, potatoes over a big fire <laughs> waiting for the guy so that he wouldn't be late and <laughs> he wouldn't mess around with the Marx Brothers. Pretty clever. <laughs> uh, the stateroom scene from the trailer to the film is supposed to be the funniest scene ever. <laughs> so that's what I have to look forward to today. I messed up in my last video. I I, uh, I said that I didn't get the valet parking job, which was sort of correct, but not really. Um, the uh, the manager at uh, at Park and Fly in South San Francisco. He, he uh, emailed me back, and he said uh, he had a family emergency yesterday. But uh, he wanted me to call him today. So I call him and go straight to voicemail. And uh, he emails me that he has a bunch of uh, night shifts for me, which created scheduling conflicts. So I thought I'd be working Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, 6 to uh, 3.30. But he went ahead and hired somebody full-time to cover those those two slots. So I'm kind of <clears throat> messed up. I got him, his company confused with uh, um, another valet company that has a similar name, Pro Park. I think they're called... And uh, and so I thought I thought the guy purposely ditched me, and then <laughs> and then the HR department uh, uh, rejected my application for no apparent reason. But actually, it was a different valet company that re rejected my application. I got them confused. Anyways. So he calls me back. He's saying, uh, do you still want to work uh, graveyard? I can do it on weekends. <clears throat> but then his hours was cre were creating uh, conflicts for me. <laughs> so he said, just email me my, your schedule, and uh, I'll see what I can do. Or maybe uh, that Tuesday, Wednesday will open back up. People are coming and going. So... Uh, Looks pretty hopeless, but uh, I have somebody trying to call me about a, a delivery driver job, and uh, I think they called me when I was taking a nap. For some reason, I don't have my phone ringer on, 
so I can't see when somebody's trying to call me. But I did uh, leave them a voicemail in case they want to call me back. So uh, I didn't feel like looking for a job on Indeed today. Uh, I did get to one review. Here's the other disc. Oh, I showed you A Night at the Opera. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> we like Marx Brothers on this channel. <laughs> Groucho Marx is hilarious. Oh, this is the Prowler. Blue Underground. We love Blue, Blue Underground. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the Prowler, too. <laughs> Excellent. Cool. So, uh, I think I... Uh, I think I did how to sleep. I went over all everything <laughs> about how to sleep. Uh, hopefully, I didn't miss anything. Uh, somebody's going to catch it and say, "Oh, you forgot to say this and that and the other." <laughs> That's why I tried to uh, read from Wikipedia in case I missed something. <laughs> all right, cool. So one out of five stars so far for this disc. I'll check out the other uh, special feature on the disc. I forget what it's called, but uh, you'll know soon enough before I go pick up my son, hopefully. I'm going to try to squeeze in another nappy poo. I've been taking long naps since uh, Tuesday morning when I got sent home early. So uh, maybe I can... Maybe I can uh, get five reviews in from now until tomorrow morning when I have to do my crazy uh, delivery driver schedule for five days. <laughs> All right. That's the end of my review. Laters.